Hello everyone, and welcome to Passion for Creativity Studios. A few times every generation, an actor or actress emerges whose performances can change the way the public thinks about issues. Lelati Kumalo is such an artist. Her powerful star turn in both the stage and screen versions of Sarafina changed the way people viewed apartheid, at a time when it was still official policy in South Africa. Her portrayal more than a decade later of the title character in Yesterday, swayed public perceptions about the AIDS epidemic in Africa. Lelati Kumalo was born in 1970 in Kwa Mashu, a small black township north of Durban, South Africa. Like most black families there, Kumalos lived in dire poverty. Her father died when she was three years old. Her mother supported the family by working as a domestic laborer. Kumalo and her three siblings lived in a home whose sole piece of furniture was a bed. In spite of these harsh circumstances, Kumalo found happiness in music and dance. She was a born performer. At an early age, she participated in Amajiga, a backyard dance troupe organized by entertainer Tunokwa, a member of one of South Africa's most celebrated musical families. At age 15, Kumalo was swept out of obscurity in almost fairy tale fashion. When South African musician, actor, and playwright Mbongeni Ngerma was looking for new talent for a musical he was developing, he came to the garage in which her youth group was rehearsing to scout for performers. After seeing what Kumalo could do, Ngerma simply asked if she wanted to do a play. She said yes. The musical eventually evolved into the international blockbuster Sarafina. Ngoma cast Kumalo in the title role, and neither her career nor her personal life has slowed down since. She became a star and eventually married Ngoma. Sarafina tells the story of a 1976 student uprising in Soweto against apartheid, and includes moving and horrible accounts of youth being tortured and disappeared by the white South African regime. Until she auditioned for the play, Kumalo rarely considered the injustice of apartheid, it was just the way things were. When I was a little girl, I just thought it was natural for all black people to be so very poor, she was quoted as saying in a 1992 Premier magazine story. In South Africa, you don't think you're oppressed. You don't know until you get out of the country. They don't show what's happening on TV. Sarafina delighted audiences in South Africa. The show also enjoyed a two-year run on Broadway, for which Kumalo was nominated for a Best Actress Tony Award in 1988. Following that Broadway stint, the show embarked on a worldwide tour that met with raves all over the globe. In 1987 Kumalo was honored by the NAACP with an Image Award for Best Stage Actress. Sarafina came to Hollywood in 1991, with Kumalo reprising her title role alongside co-star Whoopi Goldberg in a production directed by Daryl James Ruart. The movie was distributed all over the world, and became the biggest movie ever released in Africa. Goldberg, who plays a revolutionary teacher in the movie, gave Kumalo high marks for her budding acting skills. She's extraordinary, Goldberg was quoted as saying in premiere. The camera loves her. I loved her, too. Kumalo's international profile rose to new heights in the mid-2000s with roles in a several widely seen films and television shows. In 2004 she starred in Yesterday, a powerful movie about the social aspects of the AIDS crisis in Africa. Kumalo's character, named Yesterday, because her father believed everything was better yesterday, is a South African woman who is ostracized by her community after being diagnosed with AIDS. Yesterday is thought to be the first move to be made in the Zulu language for wide release. I hope it can be an eye-opener about the effects of AIDS, especially on women, Kumalo was quoted as saying in an interview with the Toronto Star. Yesterday was received enthusiastically by audiences in several countries, it became the first South African film ever to be nominated for an Oscar in the Best Foreign Language Film category. Kumalo followed up that success with a role in the movie Hotel Rwanda, a true story about a hotel manager, Paul Rusas Abogina, Don Chido, who harbors more than 1,000 people during the 1994 genocide in Rwanda.
which saw the slaughter of nearly one million members of the Tutsi minority by the Hutus. In Hotel Rwanda, which was shot primarily in Johannesburg, and also features actor Nick Nolte Kumalo plays Chido's sister. It was not a huge role, but the film received numerous honors and awards, including the People's Choice Award at the Toronto International Film Festival and Best Feature Film at the AFI, American Film Institute, Festival in Los Angeles. It was nominated for three Oscars, but came up empty when the envelopes were opened. After shooting yesterday, she turned her focus to the small screen, where she featured in the TV show African Skies, 1991. In 2005, she signed on as an actor in the famous South African soap opera Generations. In it, she portrayed Buzzy Glomo, the sister of a power-crazy entrepreneur. Generations was one of the most successful soap operas in the region then and the longest-running soap in South Africa. Although performing for TV provided her with new challenge, she never intended to make TV a long-term commitment. Even so, her joining the cast of this TV show demonstrates her versatility as an actor who can take on diverse acting roles. Indeed, beholding the actor transit into new parts was an enchanting experience for her doting fans across the globe. After exiting Generations, she became a radio presenter with Vuma 103 FM, South Africa. In 2015, Leliti Kumalo joined the cast of Zalo playing the role of Zandile. Her role in this drama series marked her return to acting after a two-year hiatus during which she focused on raising her kids. Indeed, Leliti Kumalo's journey and career are fascinating, inspiring, and eye-opening. In it, we can learn the value of humility, diligence, and resilience in what one does. From humble beginnings, she rose to become one of the most sought-after South African actors and a global phenomenon. As a result, she received lots of invitations from various South African, international movie and TV producers besotted by her talents.